Sorry to interrupt. Face is correct? Yes. Thank yeah. you. Alright, but you still gotta power through. One of the one of the players that both can be so hot and so cold at the same time uh, in King and their Pokemon trainer and Hey, you see the Ivysaur come out early and stick around for a very long time. Uh, Ivysaur's added range and threat on ledge can uh, threat on ledge and in midair can be such a hassle for Wario to deal with. Who right. wants to spend so much of his time floating around your burst? Range. I'm especially I'm especially excited for this set because because as we as we said before, DD's from Australia. We don't like. I, I certainly don't. Maybe you do. I don't. We have no idea what their meta is like over there. So how they handle like characters like Pokemon Trainer might be different from how we are used to dealing with them. So I know a lot of uh, the Australian meta has been weird. Uh, around uh, 2019, their best player was a K. Rool main. Uh, I was about to say, I know they had a prominent K. Rool, if yeah. not the best in the world. Yeah, and uh, Ben Gold has since been supplanted by Kirby Kid as the best K. Rool, but still very, very good. Uh, they've had a really good Game & Watch. Uh, forget their uh, forget their tag. Um, so like, they generally play a little bit of more of an awkward meta, to say the least, as dictated by their top three players. Uh, Those are where all the silly characters yeah. go to reside. But, and you're able to take advantage of some of this meta game by having either, by almost being specked out in one stat, quote unquote. In, uh -huh. in the case of like Young Link, you have all these projectiles. Uh, Sephiroth, all, all this range. And Wario, all of this airspeed. So you're just trying to specialize so hard and overwhelm with exactly that specialization. And it looks like DD is doing a fine job of it, but King far oh, no. away, in the, still in this game, you just gotta find your way to get down. Probably doesn't wanna burn the uh, the big kill move yet. Oh. If you're able to get the final hit there, that was so hold such on, a nice play from DD, but this Charizard is gonna be a little bit more difficult getting the fair into that forward That almost zone. killed, good lord. He's got big hands. Big hands to smack you up with, and a big head to batter you down. DD taking that stock and with walk online, you gotta wonder, Sonic Fiend, just how long can King hold on? Hmm, let's give it a. Uh, I'm gonna be generous, give it 40 seconds. Uh, we may be speedrunning. Never just mind. A little bit. <laughs> we may be speedrunning. Don't miss those texts. DD heard me. He said, oh, 40? Bet, four. <laughs> <laughs> That's tough. And it's. Again, and he's having a he's having a good old laugh about it. <laughs> you get to hear that, and you get to listen to one man laugh at your failure. <laughs> um, so if I could speak up for a moment, go on. Go uh, someone in the chat has said something very interesting. The meta in Australia is different because we have a seasonal banned character roster. For example, Pokemon Trainer was banned last autumn. Word. Oh. You want to talk about that? That is definitely a talking point. That is Ooh. really interesting. Holy. Let me know if there's any response in this from the chatter uh, numbers, because not only did DD play extremely well here, get a nice little jab block. Thank you, buffs, to Wario's jab one. Uh, but the fact that Australia is Man's willing. Man's dumpy on. Yo, Wario Good got Lord. some cake, though. Got the dumpy on. Man said, talk about this interesting thing. Next breath. Hey, yo. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but that's actually insane at how Australia is ready, able, and willing to change the format. Even if it's theoretically inconsequential because of the deep downfall of Pokemon Trainer in some metagames around the 2020 mm -hmm. kind of era, like Pokemon Trainer players were kind of deviating from the character. Yeah. It still is interesting to look at and interesting to experiment with. Same thing with how Texas has been doing their band I was characters. just about to bring up, I think that's a, the Tourney Locator series. Yes. They I, they had a Steven Kazia ban for like the better half of a month and I don't know if like people are cheering or jeering. I they, saw. I they think. didn't get more numbers at their locals, but some of the same like Steve and Kazia players uh -huh. um, still were able to make like top cut. Like I know Lima, uh, not Lima, uh, Yanni was able to make top eight with his Roy. So oh, like, there you go. You know, it's like interesting to experiment. I know this month they're doing that with like Steve, Kazia, and Rob. And, like they're really like. Or even, <laughs> even if it's not something super consequential, even if it's something that's like a little bit unwarranted or random or just out of spite, it's still interesting to change up the format. And I think that's so, I think it's wonderful to do at a local level. Right. What they were doing for their weekly bands, by the way, it was uh, Fighter Test 2 for the first week, Just Steve for the second week, Kazuya for the third week, Steve and Kazuya for the fourth week, and then all DLC for the final week. Yes. Yeah. 
Well, there you go. And in December, they're doing a much similar thing, but I think only DLC pack two. And poor, Rob. poor one out for all the plant names that yeah. final week. Yeah. And Rob, Rob also uh, just gets gets the axe for no reason. Oh, going for but, something like that. I like that from DD though. But yeah, let's talk about the match on screen right now. We kind of yeah. we kind of went off off of interesting logistics, yeah. which we will go back to because I'm intrigued. But uh, King hopping to bring us to Kalos. I don't know if I agree. It's hard, right? Wario is no stranger to camping. No, not at all. And, but you also have to have the bike in order to do it. You're giving yourself this big airspace, so sometimes Didi has to try and land onto Charizard, get up smash for it, mm -hmm. that kind of stuff. Uh, plenty of space for Squirtle combos, uh, access to mix-ups off of ledge. Like, you get a lot more than you expect. The only thing you really don't like about this stage is PT's airspeed can be sometimes kind of slow, so chasing down players can be kind of hard. But right. Otherwise, the layout and the space is something that you really enjoy. Oh. You just can't be falling into traps like that. Didi read that. <laughs> Didi read King's soul in that instance. Yeah, we'll take a look at that a little bit later, especially if Didi is able to rock like he is right now. No waft on, no full waft online though. Half waft may be back after using it so early. And when you're able to chain combos to 61, you're instantly worried about any loft. Very nice player. He's able to stuff out some of these approaches. Does not to say Wario has any sort of kill moves beyond Waft. Far from it, as a matter of fact. Oh, yeah. We're Why? Be oh, I was I was fully ready for him, DD to prove me right again. Just uh, throw, up the, throw up the hands. But it uh, didn't come to pass this time. Yeah, it's interesting how we're watching DD play a much more, like, disciplined game. Ooh. Like, it's centered around, like, ledge play with down air, mm. uh, poking with forward air. Like, the stuff that you're not swinging for the fences, but you do have to be careful about getting around Charizard's ledge trapping. I was worried for a second, because DD with that up special, and, you know, King on reaction throughout fort. Oh, is that it? Wow. It is. Wow. Able to catch the neutral getup just at the very end, setting up the same trap as before with the bike into standing at roll distance, wait, ready, and react. And DD played it masterfully. Moving Set on. going to DD, where we get all of Australia's top three on our graphic tonight. Stay tuned and find out. Maybe. Could very much be a maybe, especially with just how some of the players have performed. DD, no less. I mean, let's take a look at this trap here, right? Like, he stuns it. Here, let me play it. He stuns it the first time, but allows DD to pick it up again. Mm -hmm. And then, oh, let me back up a couple, 10. 10 frames. There you go. This position right here is so innocuous because it seems like when you're in shield, like the Wario's throw animation should take longer than it does, right? Right. Like, so you see the toss. It's Especially like a, for I, heavy objects. Like only, I think only Donkey Kong can like carry heavy objects and throw them with like no significant lag to him. Right. Yeah. You got just like he does people. <laughs> the, just, just folds them up. You, you, you saw the trailer for the Mario movie. We all saw it. We, we did. We did, in fact, but Wario, and just uh, characters with good item throw animation, characters that can spawn items generally have been given good item frame data, and right. Wario is no less, even though it is only bike. Uh, you recover from this way faster than it seems. I mean, look at that. He's already in idle, not to mention King. Eyes are up here. You're seeing the bike. You're looking like, all right, I don't want to get hit by this, so if I'm in block, I can't jump, because that's counterintuitive of course <laughs> so like you either spot dodge or take it or you roll and if you roll well maybe you can get by wario maybe this just position is just a feint but as we watch it progress just a little bit just how early does this up smash yeah he up smashes just as the roll starts and that's not reactable so he just knew <laughs> they, they really just knew. like i said read the man's soul Right, like a book, and takes it to the bank, takes it 2-0, and into a qualifier as we get our next set, which is a qualifier on stream. I think this... Oh, this is going to be fun. This is going to be a funny one. This